All is to the member for Lindsay. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Today it is a great honour to speak on behalf of this private motion brought to the chamber by the member for MacArthur, my good friend and my neighbour in Western Sydney, and an honourable member himself who has worn the blue uniform for 25 years, serving our community, protecting our community, and till this day he is still a fierce advocate for the people of Western Sydney. Our police do the work that keeps us safe. They keep our families safe, they keep our homes safe, they keep our businesses safe. They look after our community. They are our guardians, they are often our custodians. I'd like in particular today to thank the work of our local police in Lindsay, that of the police from the Penrith and the St Mary's local area commands. The 29th of September marked National Police Remembrance Day, a day we pause to honour police officers whose lives have been cut short performing their duty as a police officer. We also, in this motion, look at the work of Police Legacy that works with over 20,000 retired police or serving police. But, Deputy Speaker, since 1862, 252 New South Wales police officers have lost their lives in the line of duty while protecting the lives and properties of others. 252 lives lost way too soon. Deputy Speaker, when we look at these numbers and we look at the sacrifice of our police officer, officers, it's brought home to me by a very good friend of mine, a guy by the name of Brendan Bunter. Brendan was in fact my oldest brother's best friend going through school and, like his father, followed his dad into the police force. He served our local communities from Fairfield, St Mary's, Katoomba and Mudgee, rising to the rank of sergeant. Brendan went to domestic violence incidents, one where an offender in fact tried to stab and kill Brendan. Brendan now suffers with an acute post-traumatic stress syndrome and has had to endure the mental anguish that goes with this. Brendan has tried to take his own life and with his wife I have visited Brendan in St John of God. And when speaking to Brendan today about this motion, he actually wanted me to tell you that he had actually, the challenges and the journey that he had actually been on, that we might remember the 252 lives lost, but if Brendan had have been successful in one of his attempts, he wouldn't be counted in those numbers, even though the post-traumatic stress syndrome that he has from this particular domestic violence incident, from the numerous motor vehicle accidents that he attended, from investigations into fatalities and assisting families through suicide, has left Brendan with a permanent disability. Brendan's wife is one of my very good friends, and to see the support of the family. And you know what? This is just one police officer, just one. Think of the knock-on for all the other families that this goes to. And that's why this day of commemorating National Police Remembrance Day is so important. And that's why it's important that we actually stop to remember and look at the sacrifice of all our local police officers. And once again, that I have the opportunity here today to publicly, on the record, thank and acknowledge the work of both Penrith and St Mary's local area commands. Deputy Speaker, Friday also marked a very special day for Inspector Harry Goldings, who retired from the Penrith local area command. Harry had served the New South Wales Police Force for 37 years and retires after a very long and distinguished career. On Friday, he marched out of the Penrith station for the last time, waved goodbye to his Penrith policing family, which I'm sure he will be back to visit from time to time. But Harry, I would like to thank you for your service. I'd like to thank you for protecting our local community and I wish you all the best in your retirement. I would also like to thank all the current serving police officers for the remarkable job that they do and ensuring that there is peace and safety right across our community. Deputy Speaker, I would like to thank the member for MacArthur for bringing this motion to the House. Thank you. Thank you.